Today I'm going to be talking about uh, a really often overlooked feature that can help you navigate Sage 50 a lot faster. Um, most of us, you know, because we're creatures of habits, we always do things the same way. So if you've been using Sage 50 or Peachtree for a long time, you probably are used to going through the menus to uh, get your maintenance items, to enter transactions, uh, or to run a report. Or if you're a newer user, you're probably accustomed to using these navigation aids that allow you to uh, you know, navigate the program pretty easily. But there's a quicker, faster way um, by using this shortcut list that's down here in the, the bottom left corner. Um, this just gives you single click access to whatever features you want to add to that list. You can customize that list by clicking the gear icon right here, or in versions prior to 2018, uh, there's a uh, blue customize hyperlink there. If you just click on that, that'll bring up the uh, the customize shortcuts window, and this shows you which shortcuts are already in the list. And to add one, you simply click the add a shortcut button. And you get these menus that pretty closely mimic the, the menus across the top of the program. So whatever you want to add, you can just choose it from the list. Um, so if we want to go in and add, say, the uh, purchase receive inventory, and you can see it puts that at the bottom of the list. So we can, we can move it up there if we want. And if we don't like that description, we can also choose rename. And maybe we just want to call this... AP invoices and you can also do things like uh, if you wanted to add a space so that you could you know, make some logical groupings in there you could click the add a space button and then you could move it up so you had space between your your customer related things and your vendor related things and you can delete to take things off the list and Another thing that, that people frequently don't realize about this is that you can add not just you know, tasks or maintain customers, things like that, but you can add specific reports or forms. So if you've got a particular report you like to run, even if it's a custom report, you can choose it from the menus. Or even a specific uh, form, like an invoice or a check, you can, uh, you can add that directly to your list of shortcuts. Um, and then like everything else you can position it wherever you want. Now this is really useful for people who like to batch print their invoices or their checks or if you have um, limited people's rights so that they can't edit prior period transactions and then every time you want to reprint one then uh, it's, it's problem uh, because uh, Peach or Sage 50 always tries to post when, it, when you print but if you if you use this method, that brings you to the the batch printing mode where you can um, where you can reprint those individually. And that there's quite a few steps you have to go through to get to that screen normally. Um, so that's a really good shortcut right there. And if you ever just want to bring it back to the original settings, there's a button in here to reset defaults. You can tell it yes, and then you're back to the original list. So that's it. Um, make good use of the shortcuts list, and uh, and it'll save you some time. Oh, and I almost forgot to say that list is unique to each username that you have set up. So every user can set up their own list of shortcuts, and it won't affect any of the other users. Hope that helps you.